Asta and Bansri. I hope you like and enjoy my videos. If you do, then like, share and subscribe to my channel. And tell us in the comments that did you try out from whatever video you see. So today we are going to learn how to make a puzzle on Microsoft PowerPoint. For that you need to open a blank presentation and add a desire to the starting page. Then you can give your puzzle a title. For example, animal puzzle, bird puzzle and more. So my puzzle is going to be a bird puzzle. So let me type bird puzzle. And then I will go, I'm going to write done by and my class. Now next you need to take a new slide and go to the insert tab right beside the home tab. And go to the images group and choose pictures, online pictures. Let's wait for until the pictures get loaded. So now you can see these, you can go to birds, but there is a problem. You do not know the names of the, all of the birds. So you can just search a name of any one bird. So I would like hummingbird. So let's search hummingbird. So now I want this picture. So I can insert it and fit, make it the size of the full slide. So let's do it. Now I'm going to do it. So now we can again go to the insert tab, but this time we can go to the illustration groups and choose shapes and choose the rectangle shape and make small, small squares like this. Now, instead of going again and again to the insert group and dragging out a square, you can just select the square and press the control key and just drag it out. So you get a copy of the same. So let's do it and then if you have this much place left here, you can just make the last square a bit bigger. Completed putting the squares. So now you have to press the control key and instead of dragging them, just select all of them. And do not forget to select all of them or else you have a mistake. So after selecting them, without unselecting them, you can go to the animations tab and the down arrow, exit animations disappear. So now let's check one time. Let's click one block. So now all of them are gone. So now we are going to number all of them. So let's number it. So now I have numbered them. So now we can go to the animation pane just right at here. Now you can see that I have selected the 28 number block. So that 
number is highlighted in orange color and you can see that the name of that rectangle is rectangle 33 and we have labeled it as 28. So now we can select the block number 1 and go to trigger on click of first we have to check what is the name. So rectangle 4 is the name so we can go to trigger on click of rectangle 4. The same step we are going to do with all of the blocks is so let's do it. So friends, now I have done the trigger for all of them. So if you want to know if you did not do for one, you can just check under every uh, rectangle, it should be written trigger, rectangle 4 and which you have labeled 1. So now from this, we made our puzzle. Now this works like this. Now you need to pick up any three numbers. So you can ask your friend like 10, 26 and 12. So now you have to guess the name of the bird. But if you fail in this and you need to pick up one more piece and you say the correct answer after picking four pieces, you get only three points. But if you pick only one, only three, then you get five points. But if you pick up five pieces, then you get only one point. So you can add another slide before this and you can add the rules. Now we need to add a new slide and give the answer here. So let's increase the size. This. So let's do it. Answer is hummingbird. Now let's make the font a bit bigger. Then you can give animations to the slides and transitions so i would like to give it wave and over here also wave so now wave works like this so now i want to give this hummingbird let me select it and i want to give it the entrance effect of drop so it will come like this. It will drop one one letter. And then you can add another slide. And you can go to pictures. Online pictures. And search. Thank you. And then you get lot of thank you images. So you can choose any one. So now our PPT is done. So now we can save our PPT. So let's see from the first. So now let's pick up all of the blocks and check if all of the blocks are triggered. Eleven, ten. 8, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 28, 27, 26, 24, 23 and 22. So all of the blocks were triggered. So now our PowerPoint is fully ready. So thank you for watching my videos and like, share and subscribe to my channel if you did not till now. And tell us in the comments for if you want more videos on PowerPoint, Word documents and on Scratch.